All right, Shalom Israel. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom Racha Kwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai. And this is going to be a response video that was done by the beloved brother Manak Tzagwa from South Carolina, and um, in which he did a response video to this clown you see on the screen right here. Okay. He claims to be one of the um, lead commanders of the Hebrew Defense Unit. And he calls himself S.A.V. Solomon. Okay, so, you know, which, um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if this was another agent provocateur group set up by Esau to sow discord and com confusion. In the book of Proverbs, the sixth chapter, we know that um, the Lord hate those that sow discord among brethren. And this right here is an example of discord, you know, that's being sown, you know, in the midst of the congregation. But again, as you may know, the heavenly father, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai has many sifting mechanisms to get all of the undesirables that he don't want out of the truth. So this man right here, you know, he, he's another sifting um, mechanism which the Lord has set up to basically to get rid of all of the undesirables because you still have undesirables in this truth. That, you know, that they're, they're not in the right frame of mind. So, you know, when hell break loose in America, blase, blase, yada, yada, you know, when, when, when shit is the fan, you know, carnality is going to start to kick into their minds. And, you know, the ones that are in this truth that are undesirables, you know, they're going to get caught up out there. They're going to get caught up in the civil wars, the race wars, the protests, the riots, you know. And ultimately, they're going to be taken by Satan and his devices. So, you know, when I see a guy like this, the first thing that comes to my mind is the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 3. It says, for they being ignorant of Yahweh's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of of Yahweh. And this this guy right here is another example of someone who's going about seeking to establish his own righteousness because nowhere in the scriptures does it say that mortal man here on this planet will the Lord use to bring Israel back into the homeland. So it begs the question, prophetically speaking, how will the Israelites return back to the Holy Land, which is the land of Israel? How, how will the Israelites, which are the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians, return back to the Holy Land, which is the land of Israel? Because the Lord has given us many instances where um, he said that we would return to the land of Israel. Okay, Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 14. And this is one of many examples. Isaiah 14 and 1. For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. Okay. And the strangers shall be joined with them 
and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So let's read that again. Isaiah 14 and 1. For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob. See, you see that? And will yet choose Israel. And set them in their own. So, 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 so. Who, who's going to set us back in our own land? How, how are we going to get back to the Holy Land? The Lord said that he's going to set us in our own land, which is the land of Israel. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. So the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai is who's going to set us back in our own land. Okay. And furthermore, when you go to the book of Deuteronomy, what did the Lord say? Okay, let's 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 get there real quick, because from time to time again, Jake likes to forget that he's under the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. OK. OK, so. Well, we're we're not in the time of, you know, taking up arms and, and, and going to, to get back our homeland, you know, you know, first off, how the hell are we going to take back our own land when, you know, we don't have our own military, we don't have a establishment, you know, and then on top of that, we don't have any might or power. We have no might and we have no power. Okay, this is Deuteronomy 28, verse 25. Yahweh shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. There you go. Okay, so so let's just to say if, you know, maybe about um, maybe about 30 million of us took up arms and, and attempted to take back the land of Israel. Well, guess what? Though those so-called Israelis, they have nukes. They have weapons of mass destruction. All they got to do, you know what? Esau don't even have to use a fucking nuke. He could he could just drop one atomic bomb on all of us and just like that we're through. So, we have no power. Okay? Who has the power been given to? And that's presuming to Daniel's 4 verse 17. That's presu presuming to Romans 13 verse 1 down to 4. Who has the power been given to? The Edomites. Okay, the Lord is dealing with the Edomites right now. The Lord set him up over us as, as, as a punishment to our nation for breaking his laws, statutes, and commandments. Okay. Deuteronomy 28, verse 28. Yahweh shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. Right, because you got to be mad and you got to be blind to, 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 to basically think that you can take up arms and just remove a whole nation of people out of our land. And then, then you know, somehow, you know, we 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 uh break down and, and rebuild. You know, basically, we 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 break down their homes. We burn it down. You know, you know, turn that place to a place of rubble, and then we and then basically, you know, we um, because first off, isn't it not prophesied that the Israelites will have slaves? Because prophetically speaking, we're not the ones who's going to rebuild. Well, we're not the ones who's going to build up the kingdom of heaven. So let's just to say if we do take these gutter rats down and we do overthrow them out of our land. Well, who the hell? I mean, uh, uh, who the hell is going to build up our kingdom? Because we down show sure ain't going to do it. Prophetically speaking, the heathens are the ones who who's going to be building up the kingdom of heaven. So, 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 um, how the hell? Are we going to, how the hell are we going to make the Chinese people our slaves? 
What kind of power are we going to have to make the Chinese and the, the, the Japanese and the, uh, the Arabs and the East Indians and, and, and the, uh, the Edomites are slaves? Who controls Rome? The, I'm talking about modern day Rome. The Edomites do. How the hell are we going to make the Edomites our slaves? The so-called elites, they, they still going to be in power. So this 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 madness of you know, you know you know we're gonna set up a a, a Hebrew Israelite defense unit and you know we're gonna to come together we're gonna to take up arms we're gonna take these people out of our land we're gonna overthrow them it's all madness man and it does not prophetically match biblical prophecy okay. So you, you got to be mad to think that we have a chance of, of, of um, being uh, of uh, going back to our homeland and overthrowing them gutter rats. It, it's just not going to happen, man. What did Yahweh say? And um, Zechariah, uh, is it Zephaniah 3 and 8? The Lord said, wait ye upon him until the day that he rise up to the prey. Okay. Okay, so let's skip down to verse 29. Deuteronomy 28 and 29. It says, Thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt only be, and thou shalt be only, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. You see that? So, so the Lord said that we're not going to prosper in our ways. OK, and you would think Jake would learn from Tulsa, Oklahoma. You know, you would think you would learn. You think Jake would learn from from all of these various acts that we took up in the past here in America in order to establish our in order to create our own establishments. But no, Jake, Jake don't want to learn. You know, Jake, Jake forgot about how how um, during Tulsa, Oklahoma, when we had our own economy, our own financial systems going, we had our own educational systems going. We had our own food system. We basically we we had our own we had our own establishment going on here in America. But what happened? Esau saw 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 um how pros Esau saw <laughs> Esau he saw what was going on, and you know what he did? He bombed us. There was another scenario. I forgot what city it was, but basically same thing was happening. You know. We, 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 we had our own education systems, our own economy. You know, we was doing good for ourselves. But what happened? Esau came in there and he literally burned down the whole city. So when the Lord said that thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, it literally means just that. We're not going to fucking prosper in this society. So you think, do you really think we're going to succeed in, 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 in uh, creating our own establishment? You know, and, and you know what? This dude right here, he could probably he could very well probably be one of those guys that 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 died during the, the Tulsa, Oklahoma bombings. He could have been one of them. The same guy with that same mentality, the same mindset of, uh, you know, wanting wanting to 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 build and create our own establishments. And and look, man. You're going to be just like those people were in Tulsa, Oklahoma. You're going to end up getting bombed by Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. You're going to end up getting bombed by him, okay? Just like how 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 he did our nation during Tulsa, Oklahoma. Okay? Deuteronomy 28 verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people and thine eyes shall look and fail with lung for them all the day long. And here comes the key point. And there shall be no might in thine hand. We don't have no fucking might in this society. That was stripped from us during the time of slavery. You see, the Lord took that from us. Why? Because of our disobedience. Okay. And 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 there's only one way that 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 we can receive power 
and might and strength. And that's through the old that, that that's through obedience. Which is through what repentance? It starts with repenting. It starts with acknowledging your sins, your iniquity. And then it starts with coming back to the Lord, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai. OK, and, and, and it starts with, you know, keeping the laws, statutes and commandments to the best of your ability. It starts with having faith in Yahweh. Well, first and foremost, it starts with having faith in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which is clearly a gift given to you. Like it tells you in Ephesians, the second chapter. OK, faith is a gift. It has to be given to you. The Lord has to put the spirit on you to believe in him in order to repent and to come back wholeheartedly and, and, and to turn away from your iniquities. You see. So ultimately, we understand that this is how we're going to receive power, might, strength. It all starts with repentance, obedience. You see that? Because we're, we're not going to just wake up one day and somehow going to have the strength to take take these devils out of power, man. Now, don't get me wrong. Prophetically speaking, OK, in um, Daniel, the uh, seventh chapter, it, it, it does say the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom. But what does it say in the book of Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, the first verse to every person and to every season? That there is a time and a place for everything under the sun. There's a time to build and there's a time to break down. Are we in the time of, of coming together and, and um, you know, uh, uh, healing and, 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 and building? No. We're in a time of war, man. Look, Esau, uh, according, prophetically speaking, according to Revelation, the 12th chapter, these devils is getting ready to come down with great wrath, man. Okay. We're in a spiritual war right now. And these devils are getting ready to persecute us. On a higher scale we have never seen before in history, man. Okay. So, 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 uh, if you want power, might, and strength to take down your enemies, you got to come in, you got to come in to this truth. Well, even though you can't, the Lord has to has to put the spirit on you to repent. But 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 if you want power, strength and might, you got you. You have to come in through 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 the front door, because what did Yahweh Shai say? Any man that 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 tried to come of in some other way, but but by by the uh, the door, the same as a is a thief and a robber. So, you know. You're going to have guys out there who's going to try to wiggle around. You know, they're going to try to jump rope. They're going to try to backflip. They're going to try to hyper jump. You know, they're going to try to find some kind of crafty way. Somehow they think that they're going to try to find some kind of way to 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 uh, sneak their way to salvation without going through anything. And it, it just don't it don't work that way, Jack. OK. It don't work that way. OK, the Lord is not going to give some some random disobedient nigga. You know, power and, and, and might when he's not doing what he said to do. OK. When 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 we were children, there was always that one game system we always wanted. It was always that one bike we've always wanted, that one toy we always wanted. But guess what? If you wanted that. You had to do what your parents said. OK, if your dad told you to go in there and, you know, to you know, wash the dishes, make sure the kitchen is clean, make sure your room is clean. You know, everything is straightened up. You had to do it. And guess what? If you didn't do those things, you didn't get what you desired. You did. You, you didn't get that skateboard you, you've always wanted, you know. You didn't get to go to to this place that you always wanted to go to. You know, you didn't get get that one video game. Because you was disobedient. Well, it's the same thing with this truth, man. The Lord's not going to give you spiritual power if you're not doing what he said to do. The Lord clearly told you. How 
what, what, what you ought to do to receive salvation. But Jake don't want to do that. Jake, Jake, Jake want the easy way out. You know, Jake, Jake is coming in the spirit of Esau. He want it now. Okay. Well, I mean, come on, look at Yahweh Shai. Look at the look at Yahweh Shai's disciples who became apostles. You don't think they wanted the kingdom back then? Everything that was written before time was written for our learning. Okay. Where in history did you read about the apostles going around trying to establish their own righteousness by by by, by trying to make war with, with, with the Romans? You look at the uh, Sicaris, right? You look at the Zealots. They call themselves trying to go to war uh, uh, against the, the Roman soldiers. And, and, and look how that turned out for them. They ended up being obliterated, man. Why? Because the Lord was dealing with the Romans at the time. Okay? And that's presuming, prophetically speaking... That was presuming to uh, that was presuming to Daniel seven four and seventeen, Daniel chapter four verse seventeen, the Lord giveth it giveth what the rulership to whomsoever He will. So the Lord is dealing with the Edomites right now. That's the Lord's whooping stick right there. Okay, of whom the Lord have set up over our nation to chastise us for our disobedience. So Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28, has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, the creators of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. You see that? He giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might. He increaseth strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait, don't you know it takes patience to wait? But nah, man, n niggas don't want to wait for shit, man. They want it now. And guess what? They bring upon themselves swift destruction. But they, which we know the elect are going to wait upon Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. So they that wait upon Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai shall renew their strength. Now, does that mean that, you know, somehow, you know, you know, they're going to power themselves up, you know, some, some Dragon Ball Z. Nah, man. No, that means that the Lord is going to, the Lord is the one who's going to renew their strength. But they that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai shall renew their strength. They shall mantle with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Not that it's saying that we're going to mantle with wings like Hancock and fly off and shit and go around, you know, putting our foot up people's asses. Nah, it means that the Lord's going to give certain of his men spiritual power to be, to be able to fly and, you know, defend themselves or whatnot, because it's going to get crazy out here. OK, Zephaniah three and eight. Therefore, wait ye upon me. Saith Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai until the day that I rise up to the prey. You see that? Are we greater than the Lord? No. Hell no. Especially not Yahweh. That's the that's the most highest, most powerful, supreme being of the entire universe. Ain't nobody uh, greater or, or, or better than him. So guess what? We ought to do what he said to do. OK, spiritual power is going to come to the Lord's elect men by faith, obedience and their works, which which they have done in this truth. OK, the Lord's elect men, they're not going to just receive spiritual power by their own will. No, spiritual power is going to be given to them. Because of their obedience unto Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, because of their faith unto Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, because because they because the Lord put the spirit on them to do the right thing in order for them to receive spiritual power. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine. What? Indignation. Even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Bam.
Okay? So guess what? And until Yahweh sends his son, Yahweh Shai back to, to deliver us out of this wicked kingdom, okay? We ain't about to do shit except wait upon Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. As it is written, I will bear the indignation of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, because I have sinned against them. But with that, I'm going to say, Shalom, it's on to the next one.